Hi guys, so today I'm unboxing the G7 magazine. Um, before we begin though, I did want to give a little overview about it. This is not an official magazine. It was a fan-made one by Oh My God 7 uh, International Forum. They, that's a forum available on Twitter and they had a uh, web thread website for it. Um, they made this in honor of God 7's third anniversary. They print, they put it all together, they printed it, and then they shipped it off to JYP. Hopefully, God7 got to see it. Um, but yeah, it was a fan-based project they put together. And it's, it's it was just a really, really, outcome was amazing. Like, I am I was blown away when I saw the digital version of it because the digital version of the magazine is available on their Twitter page to for everyone to see. But they were um, not able to sell it or anything because the, the pictures they use are uh, not their own. So for copyright issues reasons, they did not sell it. They did do a few giveaways here and there, but other than that, the digital version was always there. But I was able to thankfully get this um, copy, physical copy, because I was their designer for their Twitter head and display picture. Um, I wasn't unfortunately with them for as many years as I hoped to be because the thread is now closed because the admin designer to close it down for, because due to personal reasons. And I've only got it to work with them for a few years, but even the little experience that I had with them was amazing. And I truly thank them for that. They also have a YouTube page too, where they do English subtitles for Gotham, which is amazing. Like they had this whole entire team of translators, designers, photographers, writers, everything was there. And it was just, I was really, really heartbroken when they said they were gonna close it down. All in all, I really appreciate all the you know support they gave me when I became a designer because it was it was a while back now and I was really nervous. But they supported me. They you know gave me feedback on my ideas, so it really helped me design better headers for them. So that was a very very nice experience. I will leave the links down below to everything in the description so you guys can check it out. I believe on the Twitter page they still do a few they do do updates about God Seven, but it's not as active as it used to be. But um, how I was able to get the physical copy is for all staff members. We were able to get a copy of our own. I have, um, currently I have two. I have this one and I have another one just for display purposes that I just do not touch. This one I'm just using to open, but the other one just for display purposes. It's still in this packaging. I will not open it. That's just how I am. So without further ado, let's get started because I'm really excited to see how everything came out. So. Alright, so this is the front cover and honestly I was so blown away because this was definitely it would if I didn't know any better if I would have thought this was an official magazine because it's just it was put together so well. Yeah, really, really nice. They did a really good um, layout for this. So opening up the first page we got Jin Young's um, fragrance advertisement. Um, and then just a few pictures of our boys. I feel like, um, honestly, this really, I'm already impressed. This actually looks like a real magazine and I will, I think I'll say that too much, but it's just how it is. So we got Young Jay, oh my God, yes. Second page I flipped to and it's Young Jay. Can it get any better? Um, here is JJP. Then we got the table of context here. Let's see what we get. So we're going to have editor's letter out and about who wore it better, formerly on the red carpet, got some in concert, a guide, steal his style, got some fly high around the world, got some fashion evolution, are you an Agassi quiz? Ooh, I'm excited for that one. Then we got more advertisement here. They did really well in making sure it looks like it's, they actually, like, got some members actually did um you know photo shoots for these um advertisement products like they did a really good job we got more context here got seven the journey much ado about got seven good deeds in the name of love i got seven playlist hard carry to 2017 Fort uh, fortunes from east and west turn up the volume Co couch potato i got seven's top tv show picks got seven advice column wow I love the table of context already. They look very, very exciting. Then here we have the people who um, took part in making this magazine. Shout out to everyone for doing an amazing job. I'm actually not part in, um, in this because I joined after this magazine was already published, which I would have been able to be in this project, but unfortunately I wasn't. But still a huge shout out to everyone here who worked really hard on this magazine. You guys did a great job. 
here we have the editor's letter. Yeah, this is their um, thread page where they used to post about God7. That's how I actually found out about them when I found their thread page. So, and then I applied, they had a designer position open and that's when I applied and I was um, given the chance to work with such an amazing team. That was their um, original header and then we change it every time they had God7 had a comeback. Martin. Thank you. And these are all the other uh, writers who took part. These are the designers. Again, it would have been I would have loved to be part of this magazine project, but unfortunately I didn't make it. That looks so cute. I don't see these pictures are too adorable. I, to be honest, I had some of them I haven't even seen. So the fact that they were able to find them and put these all together, aww, how cute. Was this who wore it better? Not trying to be biased, but Jay will wore it better. Okay, this is not fair. I love both Mark and Vernon. Like, this is not fair. They both win this one. Oh, G Dragon. Give points to both of them. <laughs> no, this one, Jackson wins. I'm sorry, but Jackson will wear anything and look amazing. Jackson gets this point. Yugium, I will Yugium for this one. Okay, um, mo I don't know if uh, most of you know, but um, my super junior um, bias is Donghei, and this is not fair, but okay. I, they both, I mean, I would want to say Jin Young, but you know, they both look good. like he looks more of Iron Man with the beard and everything. He just has the mask on. Okay, half point for both of them. And then Young Jay's the Hulk in this one, so it's Young Jay. My vote goes to Young Jay. I remember from seeing this one, um, there was this uh, a meme someone made where someone said Young Jay is like the least like someone said Young Jay is ugly and they put this picture on there and be like see better live better this is so hilarious Young Jay is so underrated I don't like that but I'm so happy with the confidence he's been getting lately he should be really proud of himself this we have them on the red carpet I love this picture of Young Jay I love him in trench coats and when he puts it over his shoulder like that, I don't know, it's just, it makes me swoon over him so much. And he looks amazing in red. Oh, actor Jin Young. I remember this picture, everyone says they look like they're from a different era and I totally agree with that. Um, yeah, they all look like they they came from like they try and traveled from a different era or something. Aww. God Seven concert guide. Let's see the do's and don'ts. Fun fact: it's not a fun fact. It's pretty sad, but I have not seen God Seven live yet. It's uh, I don't know what to say, but I have not seen them live yet. Let me hear half seen the concert guides. Let's pick out a do and then one don't. Um, dress accordingly. Repeat the mantra, TPO, time, place, occasion. Okay, makes sense. And then forget to have fun. How do you not have fun when God7 is there? <laughs> yeah, this advertisement I remember they did, um, I think with uh, Twice. Yeah, they did this um, advertisement NBA with Twice. Why do they always look on point with any outfit they wear? 
Okay, guys, I'm getting all this just so I can match with Young Jay. It's too adorable. The fact they can match all these outfits, wow. They did their research. Wow. I think these are um, different I Got 7s going to their um, this concert and their experience. Right. Yep. That's what it is. They're from different places too, not just the US. That's amazing. It's I've met so many Agassiz over around the world. It's just, it's so beautiful how many of us are, you know, we come together to support our boys from all around the world. This is so hilarious, Got 7. <laughs> Gentlemen only. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I would actually buy that perfume if it was real. Mark's fashion evolution. Oh, he's got a lot better now too. Like this is this is from 2017. So, Jay Bone's pretty much the same. He just he's just a lot more lazier with his outfits. He just puts on a hoodie, and calls it a day. Jackson has evolved a lot too. For his fashion um, outfits, Jin Young is starting to show a lot more skin, which I am not complaining about. I miss Young Jay's um, fedora era. Like I want him to start wearing that again. <gasps> this picture is above all so so nice. Like I've I actually had this as my I have this as my wallpaper right now. Because it's got everything, the over-the-shoulder jacket and then the fedora hat. Yes. Say yes to that. Then there's Bam Bam. Bam Bam's evolved so much. He is a fashion prince. Like, there's no need for us to even try to look at that. He wears something trendy every day. Okay. Let's go. What company is got seven under? Uh... SM Entertainment. No, I'm just kidding. JYP Entertainment. God Seven is named as such because the members are as Lucky Seven, B. It's the crazy version, right? Yeah, crazy version of I Like You. Because I know they had the regular version and they just did whatever either it's crazy version or boyfriend version but boyfriend version didn't start till later on so i'm not too sure about that of course it's i like you the way they issue me their shoulders when you're playing team sports and the coach gathers everyone in for a group cheer do you shop got <laughs> scream come and get it that's hilarious i love these options all right, for this one, let's do this. Um, from seven, oh, we're not gonna look at the answers. Okay, seven to 10 for the giveaway we're gonna do. Um, I'll take bring this out at the end again. Um, you gotta answer seven, nine, eight, uh, I forgot counting. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, and um, leave them in, leave your answers in the comment below. And whoever, um, I will have two winners this time. Whoever answers the all questions correctly first in the comments will get the giveaway this time. I'll bring this out in the end again. No looking at the answers. Where is it? Aww. I miss Jackson with just his, you know, being himself. He's a lot more quiet now. I liked Goofy Jackson. Hopefully he's okay. Because with everything and him canceling from um, the Late Late Show and then for the in High in the Clouds up, I just hope he's doing well. I hope he's okay. Then this is just a timeline for 2014, 15, 16, we got more advertising. <laughs> I love how they just throw in these advertisements, they're amazing. And it actually relates because that's how magazines actually do half of his photo shoots, the rest is just advertisement. So this is just, I think, a little overview about GOT7. I'm here. Well, that seven. I will also leave the link to the digital um, version 
in the description below. So if anybody wants to, you know, wants to read all this, you could um, just go to the digital version and read it better than you can read it here, actually. Gucci, wow, okay. <laughs> I would have had more of Yu-Gi-Oh! more Bam Bam be here, because I don't think so Mark wears Gucci that often. He's got some in the playlist. Hmm. From God is, I have to say Playground was my favorite of all. Let's name our favorites from each album. I love all songs, but I do have favorites also from each album. From Got Love, Forever Young, no doubt. From Identify, it has to be Magnetic. I loved Magnetic so much. From Just Right, I love Just Right. Um, from The Mad, um, I like Confession Song and The Star for sure. And then we had The God. Well, I haven't. I stay. Yo Motogai Yo, that one for sure. And then. Was Angel in that one? I don't know if Angel's in that one, but if Angel is, then that's another one I really love from that album. Five Light Departure, Home Run and See the Light, win it by far. I love Fly too, but Home Run and See the Light, oh my god, amazing song. And for Home Run, I'm still shocked that J-Bone wrote that song. Super shocked that he actually wrote that song. Aww. How can someone be just cute and like really really good looking at the same time like that's not that's not fair got seven i got seven forever honestly i'm so th blown away by this magazine it's really amazing we have the horoscopes which member Again, you can read all this in the digital version. Ooh, coupons. So let's look at this. You know, I've never seen this. Wow. I have never seen this. Wow. Okay, let's see. Treat for God 7. Free hugs from I Got 7s. Wow. Have a meal with I Got 7s. I, I, eye for eye, finger heart from God 7s. Aww. It's adorable. I turn up the volume. So these are, I think, reviews of songs, if I'm not wrong. These are show picks. Oh my god, <laughs> this one, I cannot, I will not forget this. Jackson was so extra. Poor young Jay. So adorable. For this one, this was my first um, after school club live. I actually watched with God, like I was actually live at the time when it came out and that was my very first one. This one was amazing. This really told us how talented Yu Yum is, especially with dancing. I'm so happy he followed his dreams because I know his mother didn't want him to become famous or anything, but you know, you only live once, better follow your heart. So I'm so happy he's doing what he loves. Advice column. Let's pick one and read it. Let's see, which one should we read? Okay, let's read this one. I'm a Nuna fan and I can't help but fall in love with you guys even more. You all are awesome, awesome and squishy and cute and I want to take you all home. Ah, Nuna, we are not dogs, nor are we stuffed toys. Thank you so much for loving us. Please know that we love you more than you could ever love us. Aww. I can totally imagine them saying that. <laughs> Jay would say that, and then Jin would just make sure just to support us even for any question we say. There's more here. Oh, oh my god, young Jay. Whoa there. I'm such a young Jay bias, right? Like, <laughs> Oh, I love him so much. Got Jin Young, Polo. I've seen the um, I've seen a few of uh, Jackson's uh, advertisement for the the refrigerators. They're so adorable. Like they're not even advertisements at this point. Like if he said to buy that refrigerator, I would just would just because Jackson told me to. 
It's a trade center. I still have so much to collect of God Sevens. It's not even funny at this point. Oh my God, the Young J. Okay, <laughs> I know I want to buy this <laughs> so badly. <laughs> But yeah, that's about it for the magazine. I hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, again, big shout out to the staff team for putting all this together. I hope God 7 did see it so they can see all your hard work in it. You all did an amazing job. And that's all for the unboxing part. And now for the giveaway, I will be giving away this phone case. Um, this is actually a custom design um, for a kind of G7A member, Julie. She had designed this. Um, she did, does uh, digital artwork. She started with edits and then she, you know, used that to start doing artworks and everything. And she made this piece a while ago and I really liked it. Um, this uh, design is for a Samsung S6 Edge. So if you have that, um, do participate in the giveaway, which I'll give more information to in a bit. So this is um, a Mate phone case for a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. And yeah, so I will be giving away that. And you will also, with the case be getting a pop socket. I give these away with any phone case that I give away. So yeah, that's for the phone case. And I am also giving away the pre-orders for the Just Two Focus album. So I will be giving, um, there will be two winners. One that will get the phone case and pop socket. And the second winner will be getting uh, both versions for the pre-order, the Just Two Focus. And to do to win, I'll just show the questions again. Okay. So number seven, God Seven had their first ever music show went on with. So there are your options. Then number eight, which member was not in the JYP versus YG battle in YG Entertainment's win? Who's next? Who is next reality show? Is your options. Number nine, imagine you are a student in dream night. What power would Mark have over you? There are your options. And number 10, I want to bite you. Which member had to re reenact this famous cat rage from Joe Sugmo's Plum CF? I hope I said that right. There are your options. Please get this answer right. Like, just say, <laughs> please get number 10 right. Everyone knows who did that. But, um... Yeah, so just give me um, your answers in the comments below and let me know what you want. Either if you want the phone case and pop socket or if you want the just two pre-orders benefit. So just let me know in the comments below and um, whoever is the first two to get all four questions correct, I will message you and tell you which you, what you have won. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate all your time and support. Till next time. Bye.